Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, let's turn that heat off. Just finish this really simple and easy potato curry. Got some lovely spices in there. Really good for you. Nice and healthy. Tastes great. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at the ingredients we're going to be using today. At the back and the start of the show, we've got our potatoes. Uh, they're steaming there because what I've done is I've peeled them, give them a little wash, and then I've just parboiled them. So I've just boiled them in water just for like two to three minutes. So, you know, they're still hard, but they're certainly on their way. They're going to give us a nice head start. Tomatoes, onions, I'm using white onion today. Garlic ginger paste, which is a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger finely minced. Cilantro or coriander, fresh. Here I've got three powders today that I'm using. I'm using turmeric, chilli powder and coriander powder, about equal parts. If you like, use your favourite curry powder. And then here I've got some whole seeds, garam masala. I'm only using today cumin seeds and fennel seeds. That's it. This is a really simple dish. We're going to start this off in our pan with a touch of oil. And we're going to add a little bit of salt, no doubt. Possibly even a little touch of water. That depends on how juicy our tomatoes are. Let's go and do it. So, as always, we're getting our oil nice and hot. I'm using uh, corn oil today. Use whatever you like. We're going to start off by adding our whole garam masala or our seeds. Like I say, this is just fennel seeds and cumin seeds. And we just want to cook them in that oil for a little bit. They're going to infuse that oil and give us a lovely lovely start to this beautiful simple curry now we're going to go in with our garlic ginger paste and our onion Now for our potatoes, you could do this with the raw potatoes, but this just sort of just speeds the process up a little bit. Like I say, they're still fairly firm. And let's just throw this around on a kind of highish heat, just for like two minutes. Okay, that's coming along really nicely. Simply, let's get our tomatoes in. Now, I'm not going to stir them in at this stage. I'm just leaving them on the top. What we're going to do is we're going to pop a lid on this and then it's still on a kind of highish heat. We're going to cook that in about four or five minutes. What should happen is those tomatoes will break down, give us a little bit of a masala or a gravy sauce. If not, we're going to add a touch of water. But we won't know that until we come back. <coughs> okay, let's jump inside and take a look. I'm let some steam out of there for you. <coughs> See how they're looking. You know, softening really nicely. Bit of moisture, let's have a look. Let's stir it around. You know, they're going to break down okay. I don't want loads and loads of sauce in this one, so... That's okay. We're going to get a little bit more out of them as well. If you're not happy with that amount, just add a little touch of water. Okay, let's get in some salt to taste. Then we're going to go in with our powders. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but I said I've got three powders today. Chilli powder, coriander powder, and turmeric, about equal parts. Or, like I always tell you, if you want to use your own regular curry mix, go for it. Wonderful. Right, I'm going to get the lid back on that. I'm going to let that go for about another four minutes. 
I reckon I'm going to get a little bit more moisture out of that. Again, let's take a little look. There you go. Those tomatoes have really broken down now. You can hardly even see them. And I've got a lovely little gravy sauce or masala, whatever you call that. Now, let's just check these potatoes out. You can see they're breaking down a little bit now. That kind of means they're done. You don't want to parboil them too much. Because what will happen, you'll end up with a mush. They'll all break down. You won't have any substance. Off goes the heat. Now, optional. And I didn't tell you about this, but I'm going to do it. A little bit of green chilli. Fresh green chilli. I love that. And I love with this a ton of cilantro. Or coriander, as many of us call that. Give that a little mix. Check that for salt. I'm sure that's going to be fine. And what we've got ourselves there, look at that. That is really good. I can smell that as well. Unfortunately, you cannot. I hope you make it. Right. Done. Beautiful, beautiful potato curry. Really simple. Really good for you. Vegetarian. Vegan, by the way, as well. Lovely with some chapati. I like to kind of get some chapati on naan bread and pick that up and eat it. I love like that. Hope that's helped. Hope that's answered a few emails that I've had. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That really does help us. Give us a little thumbs up as well. Apparently that's really good for us. See you next time, which won't be long, no doubt. Lots of love.